Hey everybody, welcome back to World Drum Club. I'm Kalani Das, your host and teacher, and this is a lesson about how to hold a drumstick and how to play basic sounds, two basic strokes, on a snare drum or any other kind of drum that you want to play. World Drum Club. So let's get started. First, this is a typical drumstick. It's got a shaft, the taper, and this is called the bead at the end. I'm using a 13 inch snare drum with the snares off for this lesson because we're really gonna focus on how to hold the stick. So let's get right to it. You're gonna take the stick about a third of the way down. You wanna find kind of the balance point and you're gonna hold the stick between your index finger and your thumb primarily. And you're gonna hold it just like this. The stick basically goes in the first knuckle line right there and it should be comfortable and it should be a light grip. You're not grabbing onto it firmly, just floating there. And then from there, that creates what we call a fulcrum or a balance point or motion point. So the fulcrum, and I'm gonna show you with my left hand, the fulcrum is where the stick can, basically, you can just bounce the stick like this. This will be your first exercise. So if you're at your drum, you can do this with me or do it later. Uh, just hold the stick between your index finger and your thumb and do this. So you're always playing with a relaxed grip. All right, then you're going to rest the three remaining fingers on the shaft of the stick just as a guide. They don't really do a lot, but they're there for support. They can do a little work in the second stroke, but for the first stroke we're going to learn it's just uh, going along for the ride. So you're gonna raise your, your stick up like this from your wrist and uh, we'll just do single strokes and you're gonna let your stick fall and bounce off. When you let the stick fall, for now, just let gravity do the work and then kind of help it back up by not getting in the way, letting it rebound off the head. And you might hear a sound like I just created, which is a rim shot, that's another technique. But if the stick uh, shaft hits the edge of the drum while the bead hits the drum, uh, you're gonna have a, a different sound. That's called a rim shot, we'll save that for another day. For right now, just practice single strokes. Now, let's make it a little more interesting by getting ready for a double stroke by letting the shaft or the end, the butt of the stick, float up while our fingers are guiding it. We're going to let this uh, move down and the stick float up. So we're not going to lift it from our wrist, we're just going to do this action. For right now, we're going to let the stick rise naturally. We're going to have our fingers on as a guide. So just try that. Then, after you've done that successfully, you're gonna use your fingers to gather in the stick and hit the drum again. And that'll be part two of what we call a double stroke. And then as that becomes more comfortable, as you find the balance of the stick and you get some fluidity, you can start to speed that up. When you can do that quickly, uh, it becomes one thing. In other words, it becomes what we call a double stroke, which is one of the many rudiments, and you can look up rudiments. I can put a link to a list of rudiments, but you can search it. Uh, and rudiments are the basic stroke types that we build uh, pieces out of, we build music out of. So those are like the DNA of drumming rhythms, the different rudiments. So we've, so far, we've learned single stroke, and now we can add double stroke. So 
So practice that in both hands. Always make sure you're never sacrificing technique for speed. So practice slowly. If you want to use a metronome, you can. So the keys, again, are creating our fulcrum between our index finger and our thumb. I want to point out that the stick is not necessarily lining up with the forearm. Okay, so it's not coming straight out like this. There's a little bit of an angle, usually, if you're holding the stick comfortably, it might rest on the lower part or the outside part of your palm. And that's okay. Uh, and then we've got the fingers just resting on the stick, and we're going to do single strokes, and also double strokes that have two parts to them. Okay, so those are your first snare drum strokes, your first drum set strokes, uh, or snare drum, whatever you want to play. But that technique you can use on all kinds of drums, not just orchestral drums or drum set, but any world drumming instruments, any drums that you play, even on the table or bucket drumming, you can use those strokes. All right? Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video if you do, and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. Thanks for being a part of World Drum Club.